Hi, it's Alina with Virtue Training. Today we're going to talk about Eagle View integration with Xactimate Sketch. Now this is really useful, especially with the tough groups with the 12-12 pitch. You've got 78 facets and you're pulling your hair out trying to think, how am I going to measure this thing? Well, Eagle View will do it for you, of course, and you can import that sketch into Xactimate. Now where the real power comes from is we can add macros to that sketch and automatically have most of your uh, quantities for your line items filled out for you. So this should be very exciting. All right, so um, I recommend that you would put my video over maybe on a second monitor because we're going to move through this pretty quickly and uh, get you all set up with this. All right, let's take a look. Let's run through the steps of how this process works. First, you will need to call EagleView customer service and have them send you the assignments that they need to get their system linked into your Xactimate. Once you've done that and got set up with them, you can connect to Exact Analysis in Xactimate, open one of the assignments that EagleView has sent you. The assignment is going to be an estimate, of course, and you're going to fill out the insured info and claim number. Then you're going to request the roof measurements from the tools section of the estimate. EagleView will then email you a confirmation that they have uh, received your order for the report. I believe it takes 48 to 72 hours and sometimes even less time than that, but EagleView should l notify you with, by email that the report is ready. Connect to Exact Analysis and Xactimate and accept that EagleView report. Open the estimate, go to Sketch, and click on the icon in the top left corner of the sketch in order to import the EagleView dimensions. And for a bonus time-saving tip, I'm going to show you how to add macros to that to make it the ultimate time-saving device. If you don't know how to build or add macros to a report, check my YouTube channel and I have a video there explaining that for you. All right, let's get started. I'm going to open up Xactimate and we're going to go to the Control Center dashboard. So in the top left corner of your screen, you should see Control Center as your main tab and Dashboard as your sub tab. Here in the Control Center, you'll see that the bottom part of my window here is the Exact Analysis Communications. If you do not see the Exact Analysis Communications window, you'll need to go to the Xactimate blue tab in the top left corner of your screen, click on Options on the Xactimate ribbon, and then left click on Reset Dashboard Views. This will bring up your Exact Analysis window. Go back to the Control Center dashboard and you'll see the Exact Analysis Communications window. I need you to go over to the right here and left click on Connect. When you connect here, it's going to handshake and bring in the information from Eagle View. Now that that download process has completed, I'm going to left click on Done. I'm going to navigate down here to the Inbox. Make sure your Inbox is selected here and you'll see these assignments that Eagle View has sent over. So I'm going to go ahead and select all five of these from Eagle View. I'm just going to left click on the first one and then I'm going to hold down my control key and select the rest. Then I'm going to go off to the right here in the exact analysis communications window and just left click accept. When you left click accept you'll see those five packets move up into your recent projects window and they are in bold because we have not opened them yet. So whenever you see something bold in recent projects it means that exact analysis has sent you a assignment and it has not yet been opened. So I'm just going to take the first one here. I'm going to left click or uh, double click on it. Estimate checkpoint price list is found in the inbox. Would you like to import it? I'm going to left click yes. That opens up our new estimate here. And I'm going to replace all this information and claim info with the real info that I'm going to be requesting. I've entered the insured's information here and the actual address where I want to order the report from. Now you will need to enter your information for the contact info in case Eagle View needs to contact you. I'm going to click on the drop down box here and choose myself as the claim rep and that will send my information up with the Eagle View report. If you don't see your name on the list, go ahead and click on add and your name and telephone number and email is probably about all that they will need. I'm just going to select myself and left click OK. That will finish the claim info tab. Now we can go to the sub tab coverage loss. Go ahead and fill out the claim number, policy number, and type of loss. The claim number will come in as a footer on the Eagle View report that they send you. Now to order the Eagle View, you need to go to the top left corner and click on the blue project tab, and then navigate down to tools on the Xactimate ribbon. When you're in tools, off to the right, you should see request roof measurements. I'm going to go ahead and click there. When you are in the request roof measurement screen, you should see a provider, and it will 
uh, default to Roof Insight, which is ExactWare's Eagle View S program. If I drop down the list here, however, Eagle View is now one of the providers. And that's simply because I called the Eagle View customer service and had them set that up for me. Everything else looks good here. I'm just going to left click OK. If you had any special instructions, however, you'd need to put them there. And I'm going to left click OK. That's going to trigger a measurement request, which means that Eagle View will then provide the report for me and charge my account. Take note here though, it says, please connect to exact analysis to complete the measurement process. I'm gonna left click OK. I'm gonna save and exit. I'm now going to go back to the Control Center dashboard and click on connect in the exact analysis window in order to send up that request. I can confirm that my request was successfully sent to Eagle View by navigating to the sent items folder here in exact analysis. And there you can see two packets were sent up to Eagle View. And now I can just wait for my email uh, confirmation to make sure it was successful. After connecting with exact analysis, I got an email here that says that Eagle View did receive my request for roof measurements and when I can expect them to come back uh, in. So that's nice there. Look out for that email, guys. If you don't receive it within about an hour of sending out your roof measurements, you might want to get a hold of Eagle View customer service and make sure that, you know, that request just didn't go off into outer space. I received email notification from Eagle View that my report is ready, so I'm going to navigate here in ExactMate to the Exact Analysis Communications window and once again left-click on Connect. It's going to handshake for me. I can see that it has the roof measurement update there, so I'm going to left-click Done. I'm going to go to the inbox section of exact analysis and there it is right there. I'm going to go ahead and accept that. All right, that has been updated. Great. So now I'm going to go and open up the project here. So it's on my recent projects window or you could search by the insurer's last name. It's up to you however you want to find that project. Then I'm going to double click on it to open it up. Once this is open, I can go over to my sketch. And this icon right there, that's the money, guys. That's where you're going to find your report. So I'm going to double click on that icon. It's going to tell me you're about to import measurement data. And that's highlighted. The Eagle View is highlighted. And I'm going to left click import. It's going to tell me here there's not enough information to determine the VAL variable. That means that the valleys, for some reason, it didn't translate for that a variable, meaning that I'm going to have to self enter the valleys. I'm going to left click OK to close that warning. And there's the roof. So the correct number of squares should be here. It should all of the variables, the ridge, perimeter of the roof, all of that should match my Eagle View report. If you lasso your roof by drawing this um, dotted line around it, and then if you go to the properties of the roof, the hand hovering over the piece of paper there, you can see that under variables, I'm just going to click the plus sign, all of these variables should match your Eagle View report. So if you want to do a comparison just to look and, you know, on your first one, check and make sure everything is correct, that's where you're going to go to compare to the PDF file that Eagle View should have sent to you. To close your roof properties, you can just click anywhere outside in the blank space and that will close those properties. There are a couple other items I like to take care of whenever I import one of these sketches. So I, first of all, I like to rename the roof. Let me show you the way this looks in estimate items right now. It says R2 on my grouping tree, and I don't like the way that looks, so I'm going to change that. Flipping back over to sketch, I'm again going to lasso my roof, go to the properties, and rename it right here. I like dwelling roof. Click outside to close, go back to estimate items, and there we go. That looks much better. Now let's go ahead and add some macros here just to see how that's going to look and uh, show you how I'm going to save you all that time. So your default setting is that you're going to have the search window up here in your top right portion of your screen. If you go below search, you've got your macros tab here. If you don't see macros showing up, it may be because they've been closed with this little X accidentally or if you've never used them before. So if you've closed your macros and you don't see a tab, I want you to go to the top right corner of your screen where it says show. Drop down the list and click on macros and that'll bring back our list. In the macro screen, I have created one that's for laminate roofing that I use quite often. So it's simply going to make sure my roof level is highlighted, right? I don't want to be in a folder. You've got to have the sketch highlighted there. And then I'm going to double click on the laminate roofing macro and that will auto populate here into my estimate items. Now that you can see the macro, you can see that I have variables in my calculator column here that are going to correspond with the different parts of the roof. So we've got R for ridge, SQ for the total squares of the roofing, so on and so forth. 
However, when you look at my pipe jacks and my turtle vents, it's a quantity of zero so that the program will remind me that I have not entered that quantity. So it's kind of like a double check for me to make sure that I have entered the correct quantities into those line items where they will not be corresponding with the sketch, right? So vents, maybe a DNR, a satellite dish, uh, etc. As you can see, using your Eagle View integration with the sketch combined with the macros can save you a ton of time when writing estimates. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any comments or suggestions below. If you'd like to reach me with maybe more video topics that I should be recording, email me at alina, A-L-E-N-A, -E at virtuetraining.com. Take care, guys.